Hi guys, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to this week's Commitments of Traders review. Today we're going to have a look at the 29th CO2 report of this year, and as usual we're going to start off with the changes in commercial positions, so here we go. As you may see, we've got copper on top of our list with a 33% change in commercial positions. You may see the change size over here is definitely larger than average. Uh, we have seen greater changes in the past. What's interesting to see is uh, commercials going down to net, uh, uh, net short territory. And while they're going that short, large speculators are going in that long. Uh, you may see that that was the case not, not long ago. It coincided with the relative top over here. Uh, so uh, it's a bearish CO2 change signal, but opening a five years chart, here we go. You can see how extreme this market is at the moment. You may see that we're moving away from bullish extreme levels. And as we do so, you can see prices uh, rising. Uh, we have space left to really reach those uh, huge uh, all-time or close to all-time uh, COT extreme levels uh, on the bearish side. But nevertheless, you may see how well uh, these relative extremes uh, have uh, managed to, to set a top uh, in, in, these, uh, this react, in these reactions during this, this, uh, this down, downtrend. So again, we of course uh, can't expect uh, this to happen. Uh, but uh, one thing's for sure, the last major extreme that we had was bullish and we haven't had such a great rally yet. Of course, it's important to look at other metal markets uh, as well if you trade copper before you enter the trade. Let's move on and have a look at the NASDAQ where we have a 24% change in commercial positions. Here we go, you see the change size here. Uh, actually, this change is a bit smaller than the, the one we had last week. Uh, and you can see that prices uh, did not react to the COT change signal we had last week. So it's, I think, a good example uh, that uh, we should be cautious with these uh, COT change signals. Moving on to a five years chart, we can see how extreme this market is. Uh, you can see that we're moving towards bearish extreme levels, but we're not at the, uh, the most uh, extreme levels yet. At least on this five years chart, you can see that there's plenty of space left to reach those levels both for commercials and large speculators also. Our next market is Russell uh, 2000, where we have a 22% change in commercial positions. Of course, we're not surprised uh, to see a very <clears throat> similar picture uh, than the one we had in NASDAQ. So I'm just gonna run through these charts just to give you a, uh, a look at how the COT charts uh, look here. Maybe uh, it's, can be said that the uh, extreme is not as uh, large as we had in, uh, in NASDAQ. We still got plenty of space left to reach these bearish extreme levels. So this picture shows us the, that the rally that we have in Russell 2000 may easily continue in the next uh, couple of weeks or even month, of course. That's a possibility as well. Moving on to large speculators COT extreme, we've got Dow Jones on top of a list with an all-time COT extreme. That's interesting having talked about um, uh, indexes uh, just now, so NASDAQ and Russell. Uh, here we go, you see large speculators at this level. That means that we have never in Dow Jones history, COT history had uh, large speculators uh, having so uh, large net long position. That's, that's what the report tells us. So that's a pretty bearish uh, signal that we have here. Uh, and of course, that's um, something to keep in mind. Uh, you, we, we just analyzed Russell and NASDAQ, and you can see that the picture is a slightly different uh, in these markets. So, of course, uh, it's uh, important to see which one is the stronger, and of course, whether um, uh, the correlation between these markets will stand, uh, and I believe they it will. So, before you enter the trade, I would suggest you analyzing the S&P as well. Moving on to silver, where we have an all-time COT extreme, not only in large speculators, but also in commercials. So let's open uh, silver, and of course the five years chart where everything becomes more visible. And uh, here we go. You may see that we had a bit of a decline uh, in the past uh, two weeks in silver. Uh, we had this major bearish extreme. And of course, the big question is, is, is this the top? Have we reached the top? And we're gonna see a, a gradual decline from here meaning that the downtrend uh, that we had in the past five years is gonna continue, and this was it, that was the top, or we're gonna see uh, the rally uh, continue further on, which of course would mean, and my expectation would be that the, the extreme would widen to even greater extent, 
which can easily happen and uh, I wouldn't be that surprised nevertheless the stress level is huge uh, it's it hasn't been such uh, in silver in the past so of course that's a bearish signal that you may act on lumber our last market for this review where we have 175 report extreme and large speculators here we go this is where we have that uh, 175 report somewhere over here back in 2013 early 2013 you may see that that was actually the top uh, at least on this five years chart and uh, we've reached those levels right now um, in case of large speculators commercials well yeah almost basically the same pictures uh, is there so uh, this is a bearish COT extreme we're expecting it to uh, have an effect on lumber but uh, if you look at the chart you do see greater extremes so that uh, means we should be cautious of course before uh, any sudden move so but anyhow it's a it's a it's a market that has an opportunity and it may be viable to analyze it further okay that's going to be all for this review don't forget that you can have a look at other cot charts at our cot charts page or if you would like to have a more in-depth and detailed cot analysis then of course the page that we're analyzing right now gives you many many options you can look at of course you can look at of course other markets all the markets available uh, you can look at uh, the futures and options data, other COT report types. Of course, you can do your historical analysis on older reports. And you can add other functions to the table, like the long-term trend, the volume and open interest scores, the COT index as well. So that's all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. Goodbye.